Hi everyone, I'm Danny from Low Pro. If you're a Low Pro photographer, we understand you're getting your pack really dirty and we're right there with you. We've got a really dirty flip side here today. So I'm gonna run you through the ways we would recommend cleaning your pack. When cleaning a pack, we recommend starting dry and then moving to wet if you need to. If you have access to compressed air, this can be pretty quick. A lot of gas stations and places like that will have compressed air for a quarter. If you don't have compressed air, a hand blower works pretty well. Uh, a lot of us already have these. As you're doing this, just make sure you're pointing the air in the direction you want the dust to go and not driving it deeper into your bag. We used to have a photographer who would come to us every year with his bag really full of Burning Man Playa dust. We could usually get his bag to like new clean with just compressed air. Of all these things we're doing, the blasting the sand and dust out of your zippers actually will extend the life of the zippers. When we're doing this, we're just pushing the air out through the zipper away from the inside of your pack. Just like this. You'll find your zippers just run a little bit smoother after doing this, especially if you've been in a really dusty environment. Another option for cleaning the outside of your bag is gonna be a vacuum cleaner. Especially one like this with a brush on the outside is pretty nice. The last step for dry is gonna be any kind of cleaning brush. I just have a toothbrush, but this will get like the really deep stuff that's sort of into the seams and sort of into the, uh, the deeper, thicker fabrics. You might have to go back and forth with this, take a brush and loosen up some of the dirt and then go back to uh, a vacuum or air to get rid of this dust that's creating. Now that we've done a dry pass, we'll switch to wet. So you can actually get a lot further with just water. So we've got a lint-free cloth here. You wanna make sure you're using something pretty strong. Paper towels are not great because they tend to leave little bits and pieces all over the bag. So I just have a spray bottle full of water. You can honestly just pour it straight on. So after wiping down our bag and it's a little bit wet, I'll just usually hang this in a window to air dry. If you have a fan you can put it in front of, that'll also speed up the drying process. You might be tempted to hit it with a hair dryer or even just throw the whole bag in your clothes dryer. We really recommend not doing this as the extra heat can start to delaminate some of the interior glues between the fabrics and coatings and the fabrics and the foams. This will break down the quality of your bag over time in ways that you won't really notice right away. For deeper stains, you can use something like a baby shampoo or a clothes detergent where you really just work it into the stain and wash it out over time. For sweat and other smells, I've had luck with a non-toxic pet owner cleaning enzyme. When I do this, I know I'm doing a little bit of damage to the fabric. Once or twice is okay, but I know that this just will degrade the quality of the exterior over time. Now that we have our clean bag, we're all ready to go back out. Thanks for watching.